Okay, this is a quick video to point out that Photo's 32-bit capabilities extend beyond simply merging some photographs and then tone mapping them for an 8-bit or 16-bit output. So in this case, I'm going to add a series of bracketed exposure images, and then crucially, I'm going to uncheck Tone Map HDR Image, then click OK. OK, so once the HDR merge completes, we're not actually taken into the tone mapping persona. We're kept in the photo persona with the sources panel showing. Now the sources panel is more for deghosting, which we're not covering in this video. So we can select the hand tool and the panel will disappear. So then if we're not going to tone map it and make it look a bit more palatable for an end user, What's the point in not going into the tone mapping persona? Well, just because we're not modifying it tonally doesn't mean we can't do other various operations to it. For example, we could sharpen the image up. We could also crop it. But really, if we have a situation or workflow where we need to maintain a true 32-bit pipeline, then Photo can offer this. One such case, if we're merging from bracketed exposure images, might be if we were producing HDRIs for 3D rendering. And of course, if we're not going to tone map the image and bring out some of the out-of-range tonal detail, then we can preview it through a studio panel. So we go to View Studio, and then 32-bit preview. Now it's docked here by default. I'm just going to click drag it out so we can see what we're doing. But using the exposure and gamma sliders, you can preview the entire tonal range of the 32-bit document. You can also configure photo for open color IO support or even choose not to color manage the document, which is not particularly recommended. So the general idea then is once we've done our various edits to the 32-bit image, we can then export it from Photo as either an open EXR document or a Radiance HDR document. And for those among you who typically work in rendering industries, film and animation and so on, we also have support for multi-channel or multi-layered open EXR. But there's a separate video that covers how to work with that in photo. So there we go. Just rest assured really that if you want to use photo as part of your 32-bit lossless workflow, you can. If you have any questions, please do ask on the Affinity forums and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.